Aloha, it's Kim Jaling with Finding Your Fiji. And before I share your monthly Zodiac reading with you, I have a big announcement uh, that I want to make uh, for you. So I, this is going to be the last one. I have been shooting these videos. I started in April of 2016, and I have been doing the Zodiac Angel reading videos. So 12 a month for the past four years. It's hard to me, hard for me to even believe that it's been four years that I've been doing this. And I've been sort of feeling this energy of a, of, of a shift coming. And then it was just recently brought to me as to what, uh, what is, what's next, right? So this will be the last month that I'll be providing the Zodiac Angel reading videos for each of the Zodiac signs here on my YouTube channel. I am foreseeing that I'm going to do a weekly angel forecast for everyone. So that will be one video that I'll shoot um, once a week for everyone to give you kind of an energy of the week. And that is going to be on Mondays. Um, so currently I have Fridays, Feng Shui Fridays, that I do my videos um, on that day. And then Mondays will be the forecast for the week, the angel message or the angel forecast that will be happening during the week. And then I have some exciting news about uh, what else is next that I will share with you at the very end of this video. So stay tuned for that because it's really exciting. Aloha Pisces, Kim Jolene doing your last reading for May 2020. So I am going to be sharing your theme for the month. And then I'll be drawing some additional cards from my regular deck to give you sort of some of the nitty gritty of what's going to be happening for you this month. And then I thought about what some of my favorite things were and some of your favorite things have been for these readings. And what I decided to do is the three answers. So the three questions, you pose your own three questions, write them down. And then I will answer them. So you can pause the video now if you want and go ahead and write your three questions down or I'll give you another opportunity just before I reveal the answers on those. And then the last thing that I'm going to share with you is a um, card from the Sacred Traveler deck because this has just become kind of one of my favorite decks and I just felt like kind of sending you off on your journey, not that I'm going to be leaving you, I'm still going to be swirling with you, but um, sending that journey energy with the Sacred Traveler, I just felt that um, that resonated with me. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right. Uh, so your theme for this month is the Two of Earth. And I just have to laugh because this card has come up, I think this is the third sign that's gotten the Two of Earth for a theme. And then there's a bunch more that it's come up other, you know, it's come up in other ways in other readings as well. So two of earth, I always think of as kind of the chaos card, um, like too much going on. There's just a kind of a chaotic energy, needing to make decisions, needing to clear some things out, needing to um, make space kind of is the energy that I'm feeling around this for you. Um, so what is it that needs to be burned away or released or let go of? Um, if you're not part of the Decluttering Challenge, you might want to hop on that. Uh, that is every Friday I'm posting a video for the Declutter Challenge. So this is just a, you know, just a thought around needing to release some things and being a little bit more playful about it, right? So have fun. Have fun with it. It doesn't have to be drudgery. Like, you can be playful. Like, this is... Life is a game. It truly, truly is. So uh, that's kind of the energy for you for the month. Let's see what else we have going on here for you. So this, I started, I was just looking at my little backdrop thing here. I've had this for a very long time. Uh, a dear friend of mine, Amy uh, Loken with Mood Modular makes these. She actually invented this. And it's, a, um, you know, it all folds flat. It's great for, you know, trade shows and things like that. But I've been doing so many Zooms that I started using. And she suggested, like, oh, you can totally use it in your backdrop. I'm like, well, go. Why haven't I been doing that? So um, it's kind of cool to have that. Um, 
just you know so that you know this is finding your fiji it's all about harmony for your head heart and home like it just and the flowers make me smile because that's part of my logo is that flower and crystals resonate with uh, Hawaii as well as Fiji. <laughs> so they're both kind of connected there. Oh, I did it again. I only drew one card. Uh, I did. I keep doing that. I'm like, it's like I draw, um, it's like I'm drawing the theme card or something. Whoa, lots of earth. Lots of earth. Definitely beginning, middle of the month, and then towards the end of the month, more air, more in your head. Um, so we've got five of earth coming in. Not a real surprise um, because Five of Earth is about fears around money, which a lot of people are experiencing right now, right? Um, with the whole pandemic and some people aren't working or they're not working as much. Uh, definitely, if you're in my private Facebook group, you probably saw my um, very vulnerable video about that. Uh, it just, yeah, it's just a thing, right? You know, something that's going on. So this Five of Earth, um, it's really about having that wisdom to accept help. And that's something that is really difficult for me for some reason. But this week I did. I did accept help. And, um, and I feel better, right? And then as I accepted help, that helped me open up to receive more from other sources. So um, self-employment might be a little bit uncertain right now for you if you're in that, in that realm of things where you're self-employed. Um, just open up to receiving help, right? Be in that space of like asking for help. And if people offer, say yes. Get in the habit of saying yes. That's really, um, really a good way to get in the space of receivership. And then we have the 10 of Earth coming in. So this is kind of like, uh, it's kind of an, not an opposite card, but it's different because 10 of Earth is about happy family life, but it's also about financial security. So it's almost like these fears are ungrounded, like you're afraid for no reason type of thing, um, because then we've got this ton of earth energy coming in, which is about financial security, that everything's okay. So um, take a look at like, you know, is this really true? Am I really struggling? Is this really a problem? Or are you just projecting what could happen, right? Um, so you want to let go of that aspect of things and really focus on what lights you up? What is magic? What is the things you can be grateful for now? Um, even just simple things like having a home to hang out in. Like I think of that every time I'm driving and I see a homeless person, I'm like, they don't have anywhere to go, right? Um, and they're, you know, wandering around and um, you just, yeah. So be grateful for your home. Be grateful for your water. Be grateful for your car. Be grateful for all the the beautiful people around you and in your life, right? Um, and for technology like this, that you're able to watch my video, right, for free. Yeah, so beautiful energy around that. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting because we've got the five and then we've got this nine of air, which is very similar energy around expecting the worst, right? So you really need to be focused on shifting your thought process, right? Um, shifting to what is the best possible outcome, right? What is the best thing that could happen? Um, instead of, you know, like Murphy's Law is always like, what, um, what is the Murphy's Law? It's like um, something about what bad things, right? Um, you know, I can't, trying to blank on it because I'm so, I have it so out of my head now, right? But it's like expecting the best instead of expecting the worst is what they're really wanting you to do around that. And nine is actually a success number, right? Nine is about reaching new heights. So um, don't let these worries and concerns disrupt your sleep. Be in the space of looking for the light. Look for the light and you will see it, right? It's that energy. Okay. Let's see what's coming up with your questions. So if you haven't written your questions down yet, please go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and write them down. It's very powerful to write them down. It's also very um, uh, much is about asking the angels for guidance and help with, with these questions. And uh, when you write them down, you're letting them know that you want help. And yes, I would love some help, right? Oops, that one. So question number one, the answer is this will improve. So things are going to get better. Uh, you know, if you're worried about things, it's, it's going to improve. Like there's a light. So and even here, 
she's moving towards the light. And that's really what they want you to do is move towards the light, right? Quit focusing on all this dark, awful, yucky stuff here. If you're watching the news, please stop. Like, it's not helpful. For the most part, it is not helpful. Um, I haven't watched news for years. I just really haven't. But I found myself getting caught in the little bubble of things on social media. Um, so that, too, sometimes I just have to step away and step back from. But stop focusing on this dark stuff and focus on the light. Okay? And things will improve with that. Question number two is twofold. Um, so in, on, you need to be asking for help from others. So this is coming in again, right? Um, about needing to get some help from other people. So ask for the help that you need and then wait. So often we ask, like even when we make a prayer, we ask the angels for help with something, then we're not patient. Like we don't wait for the answer to come. We don't wait for them to fulfill our wishes, right? And so there's this energy of like ask and then just be unattached to when the answer comes in or how it comes in or, or what occurs with that, right? That unattachment is that surrender. And um, in the waiting piece of it can be fun because you can be anticipating, oh, I wonder what they're gonna bring me. I wonder how this is gonna work out, right? Um, so it can be good. All right, question number three. Your answer is a peaceful resolution. Ooh, I love that. It just feels very soft. It feels very gentle. It feels like things are just going to work out in their own time, in their own way, right? Peaceful resolution. Beautiful energy with that. I love that. And I'd love for you to post your question below. Let me know what your questions were and make sure that you state the answers too because I don't remember 36 answers. Uh, so if you if you share, please share what the answer that I brought forth was as well and how that correlated with what you had asked. Love to hear that. Okay, last card. Discovering truth. Discovering truth. So this is an interesting one because it's really about uncovering what's really right and true. Okay. Um, you know, if something doesn't feel good when you hear it, often it's not a truth. For me, when I get goosebumps, or we call them truth bumps or chicken skin here on Hawaii, um, that is confirmation. So that's my sort of knowing that I'm on the right path, that I'm sharing the right thing, um, that, you know, this is right and true, that this is a good, you know, good um, way to go for someone, like that type of thing. So um, stand in the light of truth. Don't let yourself be dragged into the darkness. Stay in the light. Stay standing in the light. And I have a few ways for you to be able to do that. Stay tuned to the next little bit here. Aloha, it's Kim Jelena signing your Fiji, and I'm excited to share my big announcement with you about what is next. Uh, so you've heard a little bit about what I'll be doing on this channel. I will be doing weekly angel forecasts, and those will come out on Mondays. Uh, but what I'm super excited about is a new way to support you on a group level. So I have joined Patreon and some of you may be familiar, probably a lot of people are not familiar with Patreon, but it is a format where I can provide uh, support to various groups. So I have four tiers of support that are available to you. And the this is a twofold thing, right? So uh, Patreon uh, is, meant to be a platform for artists and creators to help gain support so they can continue to do their work in the world. And it's also a way for us as creators to give back to you and have more of a personal interaction uh, with you, with our fans, right? And so the four levels that I've created is I have a, a tip jar, which is a, just a really low price per month, $5 per month. And with that, you get uh, some special messages from me, uh, posts that I'm doing only for my patrons, and uh, also thoughts and things, videos. So kind of my ideas or my 
my thoughts around various topics. And you can also ask questions. So if you have a topic that you want me to talk about, you're able to share, you know, ask me and I will put it on my list of things to talk about. So that's really kind of fun. And then you also get a coupon for 20% off on, on any one of my angel readings. So even if you've had a reading with me before, you still get that opportunity to um, take advantage of a discount on a reading. And then of course you get all of the complete post archives. So anything that I've posted up until the time that you join, you get to go back and enjoy all of that content as well. Uh, the second tier is the Maui Magic and Meditations. And this is one of my favorite ones because I do have such a heart space for Maui. And I know how much Maui transforms uh, people. It just, the energy of Maui is very heart opening. It's the heart chakra of the earth and it has a magical healing energy. So the videos, I'm gonna be posting uh, videos, beach walks, walk in the woods, uh, meditations, and the meditations, I will overlay some of that with Maui magic, but I will also be doing some meditations that are just like feng shui meditations, uh, things that I don't normally share. I'm gonna be sharing in that particular group. So super excited about that. There's lots of more juicy goodness that happens uh, with that as well. And then of course you get everything in the tip jar with that one. And that one's only $27 a month. And then tier three is a jumpstart feng shui. So this is gonna be more honed in and focused on feng shui topics. I have a, a wealth of content that I haven't shared anywhere and um, some kind of deeper things that I, I've sort of buried videos and different things like that, that that I am happy to bring into the world. So this is gonna be an opportunity to, to really get a little bit more education, information, guidance around feng shui. And of course, this is easy tips to implement, things that will be fun and easy to do. And this one does include a private Facebook group as well. So that will give you an opportunity to ask me questions about you know what's going on in your space and I'll give you some behind the scenes stuff as well. So when I do feng shui consultations, sharing with you a little bit about, you know, things that I found or saw that will be helpful to you. And of course, this also includes the prior two tiers. So you get the jumpstart feng shui, but you also get Maui magic and meditations and then the tip chart as well. And then the fourth level is probably um, my favorite just because I get to have more interaction with you. And this is the insider circle. For So for those of you that remember my angel message circle, it's going to be that plus a whole bunch more. So I'm really tickled about being able to bring back angel message circle. And for those of you that don't know or don't remember what that was, I had a group of people that I would do every month, I would do a group reading, um, kind of like an angel party, if you will, uh, for that particular group. And then, um, and then I'm going to be doing like card messages. So I'm going to be doing just random card polls um, on various days. And then I'm also going to be doing a feng shui like jam session. So some of those will be live, some of those will be pre-recorded, and that will give you sort of a deeper look, case studies, that type of thing related to feng shui. So lots more information with that. And then office hours. So you're actually once a month, I'm gonna have office hours for an hour. So you can hop on Zoom with me and ask me anything that you want and I will answer, right? So um, very, very fun. Those won't be readings. The angel message circle will be the reading part. But if you wanna ask me anything about anything else that you can do that during those office hours. And then here's the really big, cool, amazing thing that you get with the, the insider circle is your professional Bagua and a private consult. So I'm going to be doing a quick shift consult for you, which means I'll create your professional Feng Shui Bagua and I'll have a private consultation with you about it to give you the tips and recommendations. This is available after you've been a member for three months. Uh, so that is something that you'll be able to schedule there. And then of course you get the complete post archive with that and you get the jumpstart level, the Maui magic and meditations, in the tip jar levels as well. So, so much valuable content and I'm so excited to swirl more with you. 
check out the link below and come and join me over on Patreon. So much love and aloha.